hi guys. Um, today we're gonna today. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Today we're gonna talk about cryptocurrency. I wanna, with humble appreciation, welcome you to my video today. And um, I wanna show you the market conditions, if I can make it through the video, I'm really nervous. Ha, psych, you know I'm lit because the research I put in, the effort I put into these videos is outstanding. I have to speak up. There's a lot of people, I would say I scream in my videos and they say that it's drugs. It's not drugs. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Spirit. I feel great when I make my videos. If anybody sounds timid, it's because they don't even wanna share the research with you. Some people do this as a job. I do it because I'm passionate about cryptocurrency, which allows me to have very high quality research, which today is gonna to be a good day. You feel the energy through the entire screen. Somebody said they felt it through their mouse. I don't know how I did that. How did you feel the energy through the mouse? I don't know, but I have some outstanding research, macroeconomic research. I'm gonna dive into the Bitcoin dominance. I wanna show you guys the ultimate altcoin trading strategy, and I'm gonna blow people's minds. There's gonna be a couple people that don't like me after making this video. I am going to challenge the common thought of buy the dip, buy the altcoins, the top 10 altcoins everybody knows about already, right? Oh, we know the ones that have strong fundamentals. We know the ones that have good founders. Buy the dip with strong coins and dollar cost average till next cycle. I am gonna completely obliterate and destroy that narrative. I am telling you right now, it is completely false. And my goal is to try to help as many people as possible recognize the truth. Now, to be completely honest with you, I don't even know why it's a complete thing. It works kinda if you wanna be a passive investor and not really put time into this market, but I don't know about you guys. Leave a comment below. My goal is to not get a 10X. Maybe the first cycle, the first time you're in crypto, you get a 10X. But my goal is to get a 100X, a 1000X. I've never pulled off a 1000X before, and that's what I'm shooting for. I've gotten multiple 100Xs using the strategies I talk about in this channel. So do me a favor, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and of course, share with a friend. Hey, I got a pro tip. I got a pro tip. That's the Holy Spirit speaking up right there. Pro tip, there's a little bell at the bottom of my video. If you click the bell, you get rewards points because I don't have any points. But what I will say is the video will get to you ASAP. And if you turn on notifications on your actual phone, if you download the YouTube app, turn on notifications, you'll get a notification like I'm texting you. So I'm gonna be texting you the video if you turn on that post notification bell and you'll get it ASAP. And some of this is very time sensitive and you can potentially make money, not financial advice, you get the deal. But I wanna jump into, again, just an overall summary. I'm gonna go over and make the case that we are in a full on bear run. I don't know why I have to make this many videos, but I'm gonna show you, I did talk to Fundamental Secrets, which is my trading group. They said that there are some people that are still holding altcoins. I literally don't know why. I wanna put you in a position to win. I do think altcoins, especially altcoins, are gonna fall one more leg down. You could actually make money off of it by shorting the market. You could short it, make money. The trend is down. If you know the trend, you can make money. But I also wanna show you why picking like a five to 10 list, pretty much every influencer's list is invalid. I literally have the most common question, hey Alex, can you make a top altcoin crypto video for the bear run? You know, and I've even made them in the past. And I've even made them in the past. But what I did this time is I took a couple of hours, I sat there, I disregarded everything I knew about cryptocurrency, altcoins and all of those things. Everything I learned last bull run, I just threw it out and I just started fresh. And my research brought me to this point in realizing that it's not even smart to dollar cost average any of the altcoins you guys know of. So towards the end, I'm not gonna just leave you empty. I'm gonna show you a truly revolutionary altcoin strategy, something that could actually potentially get you a thousand X. I'm not joking. You're not gonna find this information anywhere else on the internet. I guarantee that. So do me a favor, like the video and share it with one of your cryptocurrency friends that's lost in one of these free telegram groups. Like guys, I know some of them are good, but Echo chambers, right? You know, you know, right? Bandwagon bias, cognitive biases, bandwagon bias, echo chambers. They're gonna be biased. They're gonna be biased. Share this video with them so that you can bring them to the truth and you can help your friends. There's nothing better with helping somebody make money. 
So share this video with somebody. But let's jump into what I shill. I'm gonna shill some stuff here. First things first, do me a favor, follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway specific to Instagram soon. Follow me on Instagram. The link will be in the pinned comment below. If you look at the comment section, there's a pinned comment as well as other links. Follow me on Twitter. I'm not doing a giveaway on Twitter, but I give free and original information on Instagram and Twitter. So you won't find it on my YouTube. You should follow me on all platforms because I'm consistently updating people every single day. I am very active on Twitter and Instagram. Last thing, if you wanna learn my trading strategies, my short-term trading strategies for cash flow, if you wanna learn how to market, actually create markets, communities, groups, marketing for a business, get hired at a company, actually learning how I generated cash flow with YouTube and other social medias. There's a full course. This is not just trading. This is a full entrepreneurship system with world-class coaches, face-to-face -face Zoom calls. We literally do a live Q&A every single day, an exclusive community, seven, eight-figure earners, as well as I said at the bottom, nobody else has this, a complete marketing course, exactly what I did with YouTube, how I grew my YouTube, how I grew my Twitter, how I grew my Instagram, all of my social medias, so that you can control the price of assets. I don't know, influence is super popular nowadays. It seems like all the big dogs, that's what they want. So let's jump into macroeconomics. First things first, I do wanna talk about this because it was absolutely crazy. I saw this headline, after UK turmoil, Dutch Central Bank urges pension funds to review liquidity. You know it's getting real, you know it's getting serious when they're telling people to review their liquidity for pension funds. So we're talking about retirements, we're talking about savings accounts, investment accounts that have been built for 30 years. People are planning on living the rest of their life when they turn 60, 65 years old, they plan on retiring with their pension accounts. It could have liquidity issues in the UK. The world, it, it, it's, it's crumbling financially, okay? I wanna be clear with everybody. This is not the time for risk on assets. This is not the time to be lollygagging. You should be putting in extra effort at your job to make more money. You should be trying to get a second job. You should be developing a, a side hustle or another business, right? You should be doing these things because again, high inflation is double digit in the UK, 10.2%. That's not a joke. This is not a joke, okay? In America, 8.2% inflation. They're questioning pension fund liquidity. It's Why is this even a topic? As you can see, the Dutch Central Bank said on Wednesday it had called on pension funds in Netherlands to review their readiness to weather a sudden spike in interest rates following turmoil among British funds. It's no joke. It's no joke. And I'm trying to help people get ahead. We are going down. The market's going down. And the thing is, it might sound negative, but it's not negative because you can make money off of it. You can make money off of it as long as you learn the direction, let go of the distractions, look around you, see what's going on. Americans cut luxury spending ahead of key holiday season. It's no joke, people are not spending as much money. Inflation's an issue. It's an issue that we're all having to deal with. So invest in your education, invest in the markets and learn how to trade, do it right, don't lose. And even if you do lose, it's still better than doing nothing. Keep attacking, keep trying and investing in cryptocurrency. And guys, look, I know there's a lot of people asking for like a beginner series. Go through my channel, there's so many beginner videos. If you consume the information, you'll get what you need. You'll understand where to start, you'll understand where to trade. The problem is, if you want like an actual system step-by-step, -step, that's why I made the fundamental secrets. If you need it consolidated and you don't have the time to go through my videos, well, that's why I did that, okay? If you do have the time, just go through my videos. There's a lot of free, very valuable information in my YouTube channel, so check that out, okay? So as you can see here, American is a cut back buying luxury goods like designer clothing, accessories over the past two months, according to data from three credit card companies raising questions over the sector's resilience. You know when people stop buying luxury goods, it's a thing, it's a thing. People are trying to adjust for inflation. Also, the IRS actually helped us out a little bit with taxes. If you're in America, there were some tax adjustments to help you out. You might be paying less taxes and you know, it's because of inflation, but the point I wanted to put out here, not for tax purposes, but simply to show that they think that inflation is a real thing. The IRS is trying to adjust for inflation. They know that people are struggling and it's going to continue. They're literally changing how much taxes they're taking from you. So heed my advice. The market is going to go down. And like I said before, double digit inflation. These are the G20 currencies. These are the biggest world currencies out there. You can see in Turkey, it's 83% inflation. Argentina, 83%. Netherlands, 14.5%. Russia, 13%. United Kingdom is 10%, guys. 
That's no joke. You, and why is the United States like over here? 8.2% inflation? It's insane. It's a real thing. Mortgage demand drops to a 25 year low as interest rates climb. These are real things. Pay attention to what's going on. I'm not the only one saying it. We got billionaires. One of the richest people on earth, Jeff Bezos, said that it's time to batten down the hatches. He's warning on the economy. I'm not the only one warning on the economy. I want to be clear with everybody. I've been saying it over and over again, but it's not getting through people's skull. All you have to do is learn leverage trading, margin trading, which is simple. KuCoin, I talk about it all the time. I use the exchanges. Coinbase doesn't have leverage, but you could buy crypto off Coinbase. I use FTX exchange. You send it over to KuCoin. I have tutorials for that. And I'm dropping another KuCoin tutorial soon. So subscribe to the channel and learn how to short the market. Learn how to bet on the downward direction of the market. If we all know the market's going down, then all you have to do is drop a short on a low liquid altcoin, which we're gonna be talking about today. I just give you the answers. I gave it to you in multiple videos. So if you bet with me, you can make money, have more money to buy the dip, and then use the strategy I'm talking about in this video. I'm giving away all of the gems, okay? UK inflation is back at a 40 year high as food prices soar, it's a thing. If you don't think it's gonna happen in your country or in America, you're being ignorant. It's going to happen. You have to adjust for it. You have to adjust for it. You have to learn a new skill to make money, whatever the case is, financial skill, marketing skill, whatever it is, you have to become a better person because if you don't, you're going to get caught off guard. I'm trying to tell people, I'm, I'm urging people, you see this power, this, this, this strength and everybody else is like really like monotone on YouTube. I'm saying this because I actually am showing you some real stuff. Like I'm, I'm really showing you something that's going to make you money not financial advice, but it makes people money. You know it. I know a lot of people know it. If you've been following me for any period of time, you know this is a deal. So if we come over here, this is USDC dominance. You can see we have a trend here. Now, USDC dominance is very interesting because as you can clearly see, it came down to this trend line. We've been making a trend all the way back since the top of the, the bull run. Since the top, since we came down, we've been increasing in dominance, but there's a clear trend here. And it looks like we're about to reverse, meaning what? Dominance on USDC is about to increase. That means all the liquidity from Ethereum, all coins of Bitcoin, they're gonna sell all of their coins and jump into USDC. Let me say it again. People are gonna start selling cryptocurrency relatively soon into a stable coin called USDC. This is a clear chart. This is a clear trend. We're gonna make our way back up in the next week, two weeks, three weeks. I don't know exactly when, we're going to make our way back up. And when it does, we're going to see a lot of altcoins fall. And when that happens, I'm going to have a massive short in and get a massive trade and make a whole bunch of money. I don't know about you guys. I'm trying to put you on game. Now, Bitcoin dominance is to pay attention to this chart, even though a lot of people are rambling on about altcoins because they want to get followers. I'm going to show you something that's real. This is real. Okay. The chart on the left is Bitcoin dominance. When the chart goes up, that means that Bitcoin is getting more dominance over the market. When the chart goes down, that means that Bitcoin's losing dominance. So the chart on the left, again, is Bitcoin dominance. The chart on the right is Bitcoin. So I want to compare the dominance of Bitcoin to the price. I want to show you something very interesting. First things first, you can see right here in March 2017, Bitcoin lost a significant amount of dominance. You can clearly see that's a massive downtrend. That's not a joke. You can see that Bitcoin went from 96% dominance all the way down to 35% dominance. That's not a joke, right? So when that dropped, I want you to look at price of Bitcoin. This is when Bitcoin was in a bull run. So you can see right here, same thing on the right-hand side. In 2017, this is when Bitcoin was on a big bull run. You see it right here. It's very clear, okay? Now, as soon as the bull run ended, the opposite thing happened. You can see the green line right there, green line, right? Bitcoin dominance increased right here. You can see when the market went down in price on the right hand side, right? The right hand side market went down in price. The Bitcoin dominance increased. What am I trying to say here? What I'm saying is when people start panicking in crypto, people typically siphon their funds back into Bitcoin. Let me say it again. When people start panicking in crypto, people typically siphon their funds back into Bitcoin. It's been a consistent thing throughout history, and I don't think anything's changing anytime soon. So I do think it's going to happen again. And we see right here, again, Bitcoin loses dominance right here in the middle of the bull run. You can see it's losing dominance. 
and we still have not had a trend reversal and this might be that trend reversal where bitcoin gains dominance and takes all the liquidity away from the altcoins people ask me what liquidity means it's basically how much money is invested into something that's not exact de definition but if i put it simple that's basically what it means so they're going to take all the money out of altcoins and move it into bitcoin this is real. Nobody else is talking about this. Another chart I want to show you. The orange line is Bitcoin's price. This blue line, this light blue line is Ethereum's price. And then the, the actual candlestick there, that's the S&P 500. I want to show you how correlated it is. Right here, the S&P 500 had this kind of downward trend. And if I zoom in, you can see it a little bit more apparent here. We had this downward trend, downward trend, downward trend. Literally every single time, the cryptocurrency market suffered both of them it's literally identical look right here we're in the same downward trend guys we're in the same downward trend it's just a longer period of time i do think a black swan event's going to come and take all of this down so pay attention the case i'm trying to make here is that the market's going down the direction's down my guys I don't know who's telling you otherwise. I'm not really watching crypto YouTubers because they're getting so boring and not really providing any evidence anymore. They're getting desperate. So I've stopped completely watching everybody, basically. And I don't know what they're saying, but if anybody's telling you otherwise, if they're saying that it's going up to buy the dip, to buy altcoins, I'm about to completely disprove all of that in this video. And not even the altcoins you guys think you know too. The ones that you like and you're, oh, it's the greatest altcoin ever. I'm going to disprove every single one of them, okay? And I'm not a hater. I'm not mad. A lot of them made me money. A lot of them have great people, communities, and leaders. I'm just telling you the truth. I have to bear that burden. I'm going to show you the truth. But first, let's jump into on-chain metrics to further prove that the market's going down. As you can clearly see here, net deposits and bridge activity on-chain is negative $664 million in the past 30 days. That is no joke. People are stopping with the bridges. Also, all volume on Uniswap has declined significantly. Look at this downtrend. It's not a joke. No one's trading on DEXs anymore. Also, the liquidity or TVL, total value locked on all DeFi is down significant too. I also want to bring your attention right here. Look at this downward cascading effect. Look at this straight line down. That will likely happen again. I really do think there's going to be a moment where a lot of people extract liquidity out of altcoins and start either jumping into Bitcoin, S&P 500, or something different, or just jumping into cash. Cash has been the best investment of 2022, even though everybody says it's high inflation. Since the beginning of 2022, it's up 20% or something like that. That's not the exact percentage, but it's up more than everything. So yeah, they can play it all day, but the value keeps increasing because of macroeconomic conditions. And I know this because I've done my research. Other G20 currencies are jumping into the dollar, so the dollar's increasing in purchasing power in comparison to the other currencies because their inflation's higher. But they keep telling you in crypto about a money printer because it's good for their narrative and they think you guys are stupid and that they, you can't understand these complex things. I'm going to explain to you nitty and gritty. They keep printing money, but it doesn't matter because the value of the dollar is increasing. So dollars are good to hold, at least right now. Now, in other news, if you look at the crypto and Bitcoin search term, it's down significantly. That doesn't look good. And if you look at 2016, 17, it was more hype in crypto then than there was now. It's going down. I'm explaining to you guys the trend. It's going down. Okay, they're losing interest. We're far away from the next halving cycle. There's so much to this that people are just not understanding. Now, I want to dive, and this is going to blow your mind a little bit. I know a lot of people... We're very interested when I talked about this before, but I want to go into the history of altcoins and I want to go into 2017. I want to show you some altcoins. I want to show you how it played out and it's going to blow your mind a little bit. Please, again, sit down. All right. Don't get too sad or mad or whatever the case is. But basically, there's only been three altcoins that ever broke all time high. So the whole thing where it's like, oh, don't worry, you know, my altcoin is going to not only come back to all-time high, but it's going to break all-time high price prediction, price prediction to a million dollars, right? All, all of these crazy price predictions people are making, and I was one of them at one point. I told you I had to wipe the slate clean and come back to the truth, first principles, okay? I was one of those people. I'm telling you right now, there's only three coins that broke all-time high from 2017. So literally every single other coin did not make people that much money. Every single coin did not even get close to all-time high. I'm going to show you that. So Bitcoin, as you can see, first cycle came up to here. Second cycle, it broke all-time high. Obviously, Bitcoin's Bitcoin. It does that, all right? Ethereum, 
First cycle top here, then it broke all time high. That's good, right? Let's go to the third one. If we go to EOS, you can see first cycle EOS came up to here. It didn't even get close to all time high. And these are the top 10 from last cycle, okay? If we come over here, you can see Tron got kind of close to all time high, kind of close, not really. Stellar got kind of close to all time high, all right? But you can see it's naturally on a decline. Notice the difference, right? If we go to Bitcoin, notice the difference. It's naturally on an incline, all right? Look at Ethereum, it's naturally on, a, on an incline. Even if we click ADA, ADA was only one of the only ones that even broke all time high too. Yeah, let's type in ADA here. ADA was the only one that broke all time high. So you can see here, and you can see here in 2021, and it broke all time high. So ADA broke all time high. It was only three coins, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and ADA. If we look at NEM, okay, NEM, one of the top 10 coins in 2017, it didn't break all time high. So if you dollar cost average that one, you'd be out of luck, okay? Out of luck. If we look at Bitcoin Gold, top 10 coins in 2017, out of luck. If you look at NEO, again, out of luck. You didn't really get to all time high. Most of these coins do not come back. If you look at XRP, look at how high it went the first cycle. The second cycle, it didn't even get close at all. So if you dollar cost average XRP, you would have been out of luck. You wouldn't have made as much money. If you look at Litecoin, pretty much the same thing. All time high, got really close to all time high again. I mean, maybe you can make money off of that, but there's more gains to be made in new coins, which we're gonna talk about towards the end here. Pretty much every single coin in 2017, top 10, if you would have dollar cost average them, you would have made less money than buying the new projects in a new cycle, which is what I wanna talk about today. I wanna to show you guys the top 10 coins of this cycle and then show you how much money you could have made. These are all new coins. They weren't from 2017. These are brand new, okay? So as you can see, BNB made significant gains. If we scroll down and click show more, I wanna show you right now. As you can see here, we have an all time high and an all time low, but it shows you the ROI. Look at the ROI. Imagine dollar cost averaging Litecoin and missing out on this 235,000% increase. That's what I'm trying to explain to you. The new strategy is waiting for new coins to come, not the old ones. They don't even, they hardly get back to all time high. You want to find brand new projects. Look at Solana, for example. If we scroll down here again, same thing. This one up 13,000%. Solana went up 13,000%, but you know, people dollar cost average XEM that never came back and nobody even knows about it now. Like, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. Top 10, these are the top 10. These are the top 10 for 2017. They didn't even come back. It's the new coins. People like new shiny objects, right? So that, again, everybody's asking for a list. Everybody's like, yo, Alex, top 10 altcoins. Show me your top 10 altcoins. And I'm just like, bro, like it doesn't make sense because the, the top 10 that I want to really buy, they're not even here yet. They're not even out yet. They're going to come out in the bear run. Cardano up 15,000%. That's one of the only ones from last cycle that came back this cycle. It's, it's serious. XRP, also one of the only ones, but the percentage increase was not that significant. It was significantly less since last cycle. It was only 7,635% XRP ROI. Polkadot, I'm not going to lie to you, it's pitiful. It was pitiful. Pitiful. Its ROI was 120%. It's because... They're just like far ahead. Maybe next cycle they'll do better and we'll get significant adoption from Polkadot. But that is a horrible. But Dogecoin and Shiba Inu were one of the greatest coins. And Hex. Dogecoin, Shiba Inu, Hex. Look at this percentage increase. This is 10,000% increase from all-time low. Look at that. From all-time low, we're looking at a 68,000% increase. Shiba Inu was the number one by percentage increase out of any other coin. And you can see it was ridiculous, like 1.2 million percent increase, insane numbers. And if you would have, again, dollar cost averaged the same coins from 2017, you would not have been able to jump into these coins. If you just ignored it, you would have lost liquidity to buying the, these other coins that potentially were gonna come back, but most of them didn't come back to all time high. Look at Hex, Hex was a brand new coin. It launched in the bear market. I know a lot of you don't like it, but I, got, I made a lot of money off of it. And look at the percentage increase, right? This is insane, right? This is a 220,000% increase. And that, that came out in the bear market. Again, it wasn't part of the 2017 hype cycle. So the point I'm trying to make here is the best top 10 coins are the coins that are not even out yet. The coins that are gonna be brand new. This is why I've been talking about Zen a lot. And I'm gonna be making a Zen video in the future. Please pay attention for that, it's gonna be crazy. Coins that have not even come out yet. There's, there's developer teams that are putting together these projects and they're gonna launch closer to the next Bitcoin halving. Those are part of the top 10 coins. This invalidates the entire dollar cost average strategy 
that every influencer pretty much talks about right now just to keep up their reputation or to keep up their follower count or whatever the case is. They're pretty much all saying the same thing, but they don't even know themselves that the coins that they're buying, if they're buying it, no one wants to show me proof. I'm literally asking them on Twitter, like, hey, show me your buy orders. No one shows no buy orders. No one shows nothing. I have no idea why. I show all of my stuff and I have nothing to hide. I show you guys all of my buy calls. When I buy it, you know, I give out my public address, okay? It's because they're not buying, in my personal opinion. I think it's a lie. I think it's a lie to hold up their reputation, but nobody should be buying altcoins right now. You should not be dollar cost averaging. Also, I've talked about this in other videos. I want to point it out one more time. My two trades, okay? Tron and BNB, all right? Straight up. If you short these two coins, you're going to do well. A long-term short, low leverage, 3x, don't short Binance, I'm on Binance, all right? Don't do that. Short it somewhere else because for obvious reasons. But Binance and Tron, those two coins have not dropped by significant percentages. And I've made the case over and over again that every coin on the market is going to drop 90%. I also made the case that they're likely not going to come back to all-time highs. There's going to be a couple that do that come back next cycle. But it's not smart to buy the coins if you don't know they're going to come back for sure. The best thing you could do is get in early on projects. Buy in early on projects, okay? Buy in early. And I'm trying to help you guys. I'm trying to show you the truth. So there's one more graphic I wanted to show you guys before I head out. I want to go over some rules and how you should be making money in this bear market, like seriously, without bias, like actually making money for real. Rule number one, cash flow keeps you consistent. So that's a job. We all know this. I've been saying it over and over again. Having a good job, having a second job, getting a side hustle, you know, uh, marketing for somebody, affiliate commission. There's so many different ways. Becoming an entrepreneur. Cash flow is the best thing that you could possibly do. But for actual investing, this is what I recommend. And I'm going to go through it with you guys. Number one, you should have one third of your cash in, in cash, like actual cash. You could generate yield on a safe protocol. I'm not doing it because it's too sketchy out there. I'm going to be real with you. But you could, if you want to, you can get like a two, 3% APY. Okay. Put one third into short term trading. I highly recommend this because right now it's super lucrative. The traders are taking over a uh, sideways consolidation city. It's, it's really easy to do short term trades. And in the fundamental secrets, we have a professional trader, Nick, that's showing people how to do that. That helps you with cash flow, swing trades, short term trades, or you could short the market. Like I've been saying a thousand times, like a million times, you can make money right now, shorting the market, long term short on the two coins we just talked about. Please learn trading a little bit, at least a little bit, a little bit. It'll, it'll sharpen your skills. You don't have to be a trader forever. When the next bull run comes, you can do position trading, which is what I do, which you hold the coins for a long period of time. But the beauty of learning trading now is that it, it teaches you how to be self-sufficient. It also teaches you how to be in the market and it keeps you in the market in the bear run. If you don't learn trading now, you're going to be gone. In the next three to six months, you're not going to be able to stick around because it's going to be so boring. Nobody's going to be talking about nothing. You're, it's just going to be, there's nothing else to do, right? So learn short-term trading and you can make money or learn marketing. One of those two. Cash flow with marketing and short or short-term trading if you're a quantitative guy. Also, last one, buy diversified altcoins, but I recommend this exact strategy. It's very simple. Look for new and shiny altcoins. The highest producing percentages out of any altcoin in the entire industry was Shiba Inu. Yes, a dog coin focused on community. Find coins that aim to capture communities that have a really good narrative and a CEO with credibility and history. Shiba Inu doesn't have a CEO, but their story was really cool. They gave half of the supply to Vitalik Buterin. It made it look like Vitalik Buterin had a stake in it and they finessed it and it went crazy. But basically you want to look for new shiny things that capture community. That's what cryptocurrency is. I know they want to wow you with all of this tech and show you how this thing is going to be revolutionary to this thing and that, whatever the case is, but it's usually long-term. We're talking about 20, 30 years before any of this technology is even relevant in any way, shape or form. We're talking about long periods of time. Right now, it's simply about capturing the biggest communities. So the coins that you should be looking for in the bear market should be new emerging tech. It should be innovative, something new that nobody else has ever done before. This is why I keep talking about Zen. Keep talking about Zen because nobody else has done this before, okay? It should be aiming to capture communities. Zen, aiming to capture communities. You catching my drift here? I'm trying to put people on, right? I'm giving you the answer. And if you do that, you will find your 100x, 1000x altcoin, but it's not the current ones, unfortunately. There will be a couple that come back. If you want to play it safe, you guys know the altcoins, Bitcoin, ETH, maybe a little bit of ADA, maybe some BNB when it gets to the bottom. We know the ones that are going to come back, but my goal here is to help people get rich. I want to show people how to get life-changing gains, not just get by and make money. 
My goal here is to get accurate. Okay, I want to show you accuracy. I want to show you how to make that 100x for real, like on a serious note, not on a clickbait title, try to get views note. Like I'm showing you how it really works. So just to, you know, overview everything really quickly. Um, in 2017, most of the top 10 altcoins, number one, they dropped 90%. I showed that in my last video. So the top 10 altcoins in the first cycle in 2017, they dropped 90%. That's top 10. So imagine the other 90, the other, the other coins, they drop way more than that. Mo like every single one of them dropped 90%. Every single one of them. Let me say it again. Every single altcoin from 2017 dropped 90% in the last bear market. Okay. So that means that in this bear market, most altcoins, like 99% of them will drop 90%. Okay, I could blanket statement say that. Also, the top 10 altcoins of 2017, the majority of them, only three, reached all time high again. Okay, so ETH, Bitcoin, and ADA were the only coins that got back to all time high and passed it. Every single other coin got a little bit below all time high or didn't even get close to all time high. So, dollar cost averaging, these coins are not smart. Let me say it again. Dollar cost averaging the coins, the, the biggest coins that everybody knows about in a, in a 2021, 2020 bull run is not smart. Everyone already knows about it. They're not going to buy it. They want something new and shiny. Don't dollar cost average. If you currently have an altcoin stake, I highly suggest, and it's not financial advice. I'm just suggesting through my research that you think about getting rid of it. Because it's going to drop again even more. My goal here is to save as many people as I possibly can. If anyone can provide me with a bullish case, please somebody come at me on Twitter. Go on Twitter. Send me a thread. Message me. If you have anything that's bullish, hit me. Tell me. Tell me. I want to know. I want to know. So if that's the case, why are you holding on to these projects? It doesn't make sense. It's dropping more. You're willingly losing money. You are willingly throwing away your money. For a community that does not care about you, probably, they're just trying to make money. You're willingly throwing it away for people that do not care about you. It's sad. It's sad. And I'm trying to change that. I'm trying to save your money. You're about to go into a massive recession. We're about to go into a massive recession and you're willing to lose money through this fake dollar cost average strategy that they made up. A fake dollar cost average strategy with coins that you don't even know if they're going to come back or not. You don't even know if they're going to get hacked or not or whatever the case is. You're just going to hold on to these coins through a recession because somebody told you on the internet and they lied to your face and they have some other ulterior motive that does not align with you making money. They want to align their own pockets. It's real. You guys know my bias. My bias is what? My bias is simply helping people make money. Accuracy. I get paid for accuracy. So catch it, catch it, catch it, please. Catch it, hear me out. I want people to make money, this is real. That's it for this video. If you like the quality of this content, hit like. If you don't, leave some constructive criticism. Subscribe for more video updates. And like I always say, if you don't get with it, you will get left behind. And for the fake influencers promoting coins because they're getting paid by them, I will run. I will start sprinting. This is a long game. This is not a one cycle game. They're gonna king me because I keep showing the truth. It could take me longer because I got businesses I got to run, but eventually I will take the throne for all you influencers because you're lying on the internet and people can read that. The bots you use on your accounts are not going to go too far. The real people know what's up. It's bot city nowadays, man. And also follow me on Instagram. I'm doing a giveaway. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one.